We're back at Northeast Film Festival. Veronica Maria Makari here. We're here with a team of Toyful, a new short film. Hi, guys. What are your names? Mitch Roberson. I'm Dennis Uwe. Okay, so what were the roles that you guys covered in this film? Well, I'm actually playing Leanne, and I'm on a date with a guy named Ed, who's somewhat self-conscious about himself being on a date with me. And this is his inner self speaking to him somewhat in a negative way and it's how he gets over his um gets over this part of him that, that, that everyone seems to have that his we're always yeah insecurity like that. that's the word <laughs> that he's fighting okay. so yeah it was pretty fun so tell me a bit more about this film you were telling me that it's a very interesting concept so the word teufel is the german word for devil uh, yeah, yes. and yes. it was inspired by, um, I remember that story of Jesus, 40 nights in the desert, and he was being tempted by the devil. And then a thought came to me, okay, everybody has a devil in their head in the form of that negative voice, insecurities, uh, depression, drug addiction. So we really wanted to tell a story about it and how to overcome it. So Mitch touched on it before, we have a very insecure character who goes on a date with a very beautiful woman and I'm the devil in his head, just next to him, like popping in and out of the camera, just putting him down. And Leanne does an amazing job. Uh, Mitch plays, does an amazing job playing Leanne and helping him overcome his literal demons. And I tell him that, you know, we all have that voice, as Dennis mentioned, but you have to just breathe and overcome yourself, you know, find a way and work through it. And in the end, you can overcome it. Okay. All right. So the next movie should be about the voice behind Mitch's character, right? Well, actually, in the end, you'll see my little demon. I don't want to hear it. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. okay. And she actually comes out, and I shut her down. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. Okay. So, what was the inspiration for this movie? I know you guys, you know, draw from your personal experiences. Is there like a specific thing that gave you this idea? Yeah. Um, I was kind of spiraling for a while in my life and I had a lot of negative thoughts. And when you have a thought in your head, you always assume it's your thought, right? Uh, but at one point I realized, okay, I can't control the thoughts that happen in my head. So you try to remove yourself from them. And if you're conscious about that and you realize a thought that pops up isn't necessarily yours, um, that was groundbreaking for me like okay I have this negativity I can remove myself from it and you can't really shut it off but you can be aware of it and that's how you can overcome it totally and you're the actor producer and writer okay so that's those are all very creative and you know con life consuming jobs so I can imagine you know the negativity sometimes can get really daunting when you have so much responsibility um, what were the challenges in having to wear all these hats in production? Um, let me think. Um, I think the biggest challenge in production, um, we shot everything in a series of one shots or long shots like uh, the movie Birdman. So on average we had 17 takes. Uh, we had, I think it was six scenes. So there are a lot of takes and we had this one scene in the bathroom and it's a small bathroom, it's really hot and there are mirrors in the bathroom. So the camera just kept going out of focus and by take 10 we were just all sweaty and it was, uh, but otherwise it was a very positive experience. Um, just writing something like this is therapeutic and keeping busy is therapeutic and as artists we like to create art. Uh, so yeah, I think the biggest challenge is like once it was done, what do we do next? Yeah, totally. Um, what was, you know, the best experience for you in this production? Well, you know, I have to say, we actually worked on a film before this, and that's how we all met. And when Dennis came up with this story, he actually wrote it with Pete, and that's actually um, the character's real name, Pete and I in mind. So in relating to that, I felt like it was very natural. You know, and it was very e easy for me because I knew Pete and then I could relate to him. And what he wrote, I could relate to that as well. So I thought it was a, a great experience. And I'll probably never get that experience again. So I'm glad I got oh, that experience. This is getting started. <laughs> no, no, it was really great because we already had this foundation. So to work off of that and onto this was, just great, was awesome. Mm -hmm. And the awesome. acting by her and by Pete Dorton, the other main character, is just phenomenal. They have such a beautiful chemistry. And it's great to see because then, um, you know, it's not like the typical, like, hot couple. So 
Yeah, it's real. Yeah. It's very it's, real. It's, it's real. Yeah. You know? And that's yeah. what we wanted. Exactly. Yeah, that is so exciting. Yeah. You guys seem like a great team. I can't oh, wait to see you. it. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay.